Hello colleagues, this is John Herrera with Muni Temps and the City Speak podcast article for today. And as I said um, in the past, I'm a certified public accountant and I'm CFO finance director for many cities over the last 32 years. And today's topic is on the subject of interest rates and inflation. I know there's a lot of content out there in social media, in various other newspapers and other business sources, but I wanted to give you today the municipal finance officer's perspective. I'm a, I'm a city government CFO, finance director, and I deal with budget and accounting and financial statements and projections investments of city municipal revenues and so forth but so today we're talking about inflation and interest rates inflation and the investment yields that we can expect um, uh, the investment of idle cash that we're not using we want to maximize that right i've gone back and i looked by the way local governments we put our monies in different places we invested in in U.S. Treasuries, you know, T, T bills, T bonds, and we also invest in agencies like Federal Home Loan Bank, Fannie Mae, uh, Freddie Mac, and so forth. But we also put money, we park money in LAIF, L-A-I-F, Local Agency Investment Fund. And you know, historically, over my 32 years of working in city government, I have invested monies at um, at all levels. Uh, I think I was investing, I remember back in 1992, uh, even before that, I was investing monies at six, 7%. As a matter of fact, when I started my career, this is really small, so I've got to look at this. In 1990, the investment yields were 8.44%. When I started my career, we had investments of 8.44 percent that was our uh, th that was our yield that we were earning on our cash balances when i was at the city of hemet at when we were investing in local agency investment funds okay um that uh, actually looking over the history that the LAIF local agency investment um, has going back to 1977 the highest the the highest the yield the investment yield on cash deposits has been up uh, about 14%, uh, no, not 14%, I think it was about 12%, something like that, I think it was like 12%, almost 12% in 1980. And that's at a time when the, um, the uh, um, inflation rate was 14%. We were earning, actually in 1980, we were earning closer to 11%, okay? So in 1980, LAIF was paying 10.9%, almost 11%, and the inflation rate was 14. So again, 11 versus 14 inflation rate. Another major milestone is in 1992, in the recession of 1992, the interest rates were at 5.254%. Uh, that was an average rate. And the inflation rate was sitting around 3.01%. Another major milestone was in the year 2002. The rate that LAIF was paying was uh, 2.672 percentage points and inflation was 1.58 percent. By the way, I know I'm throwing out a lot of numbers. These are going to be on the uh, uh, LinkedIn and uh, YouTube and other uh, website at munitemps.com. You'll see it there as well. The uh, 2007, which was another recession, another major milestone, uh, that was because of the mortgage crisis and so forth. At any rate, the interest rate that LAIF was paying was 5.159%. Inflation rate was 2.85%. And then we move over to 2009, during the Great Recession, right? Remember that? The uh, interest rate that LAIF was paying was 1.232%. The inflation rate, surprisingly, had gone down to a negative uh, 0.36%. And then you move on uh, nine years later to 
2018, the economy begins to slow again, but LAFE is paying us local governments 1.85%. The inflation rate was 2.44%. Then move forward two more years to 2020 when COVID hit. You all remember that? Um, the interest rate that LAFE was paying local governments on their deposits was 1.168%. And the inflation rate at that time was 1.23%. That was in, in, when COVID hit in 2020, uh, three years ago, what is it? Yeah, about three years ago. Yeah. So where are we today? Where is LAFE today, January of the year 2023? LAFE is paying about 2.2% but the inflation rate is 7%. Now, how do you figure, how, how can the inflation rate be at 7% here in January of 2023, um, and the investment yields that we're gonna earn is 2.2%. That means that we are basically paying late to take care of our money because our money, our local investment uh, of funds is in city government, in local governments, whoever has money at LAFE, we are actually losing 5% of the value of our millions and millions of dollars that we have sitting in LAFE. So obviously the bottom rate, my statement that I'm making here to everybody is that with inflation rate at 7% at the end of 2022, and as we launch 2023, LAFE cash balance the investment yields are gonna to have to rise significantly if inflation is not brought under control by the Fed. And by control, I mean they have to bring the inflation rate down to about 2%. That seems to be their policy target uh, percentage number that they're working with. But there's some correlation here between inflation and the investment yields that we earn in late or any other investment vehicles that are allowed by the government code here in California and throughout the United States. Keep in mind that the interest rate, the investment yield, the interest rate is made up of components of cost. You have to have, you have to be able to cover inflation in the interest rate. You have to be able to cover liquidity risks. You have to be able to cover business risk and those are the main components of the cost of interest. Interest rate, investment yields, this is the cost of money. This is what you have to be paid um, for giving your money to have somebody invest it for you. But at a time when inflation rate is running around 7%, how can we have, how can we be making only 2% or 2.2% investment yield? Well, that's not gonna happen for long. And I'll tell you, just like if you look historically over all of the years that uh, we've been investing monies in LAFE, uh, there's obviously other investments when you go out a little farther than just, you know, uh, overnight funds that we do with, with, with LAFE, you can go out and buy, I think you can buy a 18 month, 24 month treasury security, and you can make closer to 4%, right? There's a, I'm not giving invest, investment advice here. I'm just telling you, there's a lot of different places. Once you build your ladder portfolio, once you understand your capital improvement program budget, your CIP budget, you know when you're gonna need funds over the next five years. We can't, in local government, we can't invest beyond five year maturity, but uh, you don't wanna go beyond two years anyways, because we have an inverted yield curve where you actually make less interest earnings going out long-term. But my point that I'm saying today, get ready for interest rates to go up. We'll be making a lot more money as, and as a, as a CPA, as a municipal finance officer, CFO, working for local government, I'm here to tell you, get ready to invest your funds. Call me or email me, john, J-O-H-N, at munitums.com. And especially for you smaller cities, I'd be glad to share with you uh, some of my, um, my skills and my experience with investing public funds safely, right? Safety first, liquidity next, and yield is at the bottom. But you can safely invest monies local government monies um, make a lot more than 2.2% when inflation is eating your dollar. All for now, call me. Thanks for your attention today. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Again, John Herrera uh, with Muni Temps and the City Speak podcast. Bye-bye.